Okay, the first thing we're going to do with the Transmart is we plug in the cables, of course. And you have to push this little button on the side next to the USB ports to turn the system on. And then you see the blue light. The second thing, which is very important for your remote, is to realize that the receiver is right about here for the remote control. So you have to turn the Transmart a little bit to the left to get a clear signal to your remote. An extra issue is that this is the box is round so the signal is actually coming a few degrees off to the side. Once you do that your remote should work perfectly. Next, I would recommend using the Media Box Launcher. And click, uh, you can always, you can uh, select always, but in this case, we'll, since this is a fresh box, I'll just run through it so you can see what everything looks like. The other launcher, Launcher 3, is too uh, busy for me. I, I like the Media Box Launcher better. Now, we'll navigate over to my two settings. And once you're in settings, go over to Other. Under Other, go to More Settings. So the first thing I'm going to set up here is Time and Date. And I have to select a time zone so it knows what country I'm in. Right now it thinks I'm in China. So what we'll do is go ahead and select that, and since I'm in the Western Hemisphere, I have to go up, and then there's Pacific Time, but I live in Arizona, and we don't ch change the time twice a year. And now it's set for Arizona. After you get your box up and running, you're going to want to set up your network. In this case, I'm using Wi-Fi. And it's looking for everything that's out there. And there's my site right there. And in this case, you would put in your password and connect and so on. Now here's the first problem you have to fix when you get your Vega. Well, for any uh, XBMC device that uses a, a single remote. You get into File Manager, and if you're going to add a source, you can't do anything with your remote. It brings up the keyboard, and you can't do anything except leave. So here's the fix for that. The first thing that you want to do when you uh, start setting up your Vega Android box is get into XBMC and work your way over to System. Under System, go to Settings, and then go to, under Services, go to System again. Now you want to work your way down to where it says settings level and you want to change from basic to expert. Now go back to input devices and move over and what you want to do is click remote control sends keyboard presses. Once you do that you can get use your remote to uh, work with the on-screen keyboard. So when you want to connect to uh, repository information, now you can move around. 
and actually use the keyboard. So now we go to File Manager to uh, type in the sources, the URLs. So we're going to put Fusion in here first. So we're going to add the source. And the source for that. It takes a little while to do this. But once it's done, it's done. So after we have to get the URL in there, we have to jump down to this section and put in the name of this link. And we're just going to go ahead and call it Fusion. And then we're all done. Since we are still in the file manager, now we're going to add mashup. Now you can see we added the two uh, sites, Fusion and Mashup. So let's install uh, Fusion first, and we're going to use the XBMC Hub wizard. And you have to remember, if you're going to use this wizard, it's going to wipe out anything that you might have installed earlier. So now we go back into System again, but this time we'll go under Settings. And we're going to go to add-ons, which we just put in here. We, had, we have two add-ons. And click OK, because it's the first time I've used this uh, particular box. Now we're going to install it from a zip file. And the first one, of course, is Fusion. and then we'll go to start here and we'll work our way down to hub wizard that's the one we want because it's going to do a lot of stuff for us automatically it's going to install quite a few media things for us okay and if you look in the lower hand right hand corner it says configuring and it's adding uh, all the things needed for that particular repository. And we'll wait till it gets done over here because then we're going to put in Mashup next. So now we can see some icons that are added to the bottom there. And it, in this case, we're in the music section. And if we move over into videos, we see there's icons for video things. 
Now, there's more than just these five. This is just kind of a limitation of uh, what it can present on the screen. So let's go down to add-ons. Now you can see all these things in here that you can access. So if you're not clicking on the one that's on the icon, you can go into these things. You have access into just hundreds of things. And on and on and on. So we still haven't finished installing Mashup yet because we had to wait until the wizard got done because the wizard writes on top of any old stuff that you might have had in there. So let's go back to System, Settings, and again back to Add-ons. I'm going to go to Get Add-ons. Okay, it looks like it's done doing its thing. So let's go and install Mashup. So on this one, we'll go to Repository. And you can see Mashup Repo. And that's, if you look in the lower right hand corner again, it's adding the mashup stuff. Now we'll go up to get add ons. And we see all add ons by mashup. And now, now we have all add-ons by MASH. And next we go down to video add-ons. And that's MASH up. And we're going to install it now. So now it's enabled in the lower right hand corner you can see where uh, the add-ons have also enabled down there too. So let's back up a step. Now we're back to uh, the get add-ons but you see up here available updates. So let's go ahead and hit that and we'll force some updates. And we can just say update all. So there you have it. So let's go back and see how good this actually works for us. And let's find mashup. There it is. Just hit the OK button. So now we'll go back into the videos and click on add ons. And there's mashup down there.
In this case, we can just test and see how good we're doing. And let's go by country. I have friends and relatives in Russia and Ukraine, so let's see what it looks like for them. You can see the working window in the lower right hand corner. So we just hit the OK button, and it brings up the little menu below, and in this case, we'll hit the end square and exit it. And that's pretty much how you can get this thing up and running in a matter of minutes. And uh, after you get it running, go ahead and explore uh, these different sites and uh, see what you can see. We'll see you later. Have a good time. Bye-bye.